The episode is all about how to invest in real estate out of state. Real estate always isn't local, and especially in this day and age. All of the states in the United States are really open for business. And now that we have the internet and you can do this online, it makes a huge difference. In today's video, we're going to equip you with the strategies and insights needed to get started with out-of-state real estate investments. I'll give you examples of how two of our students successfully invest out of state from the comfort of their homes. And I'm gonna give you two mistakes that people make at auctions, okay? Doesn't matter whether they're newcomers or whether they're experienced investors. I'd like to show you how to avoid those mistakes. Welcome back to the Wealth Without Risk Destination, where we turn novice investors into savvy professionals. Now, what are investors after? They're after ROI. That's simply return on investment. So you certainly can do this business in any state that you want to do it. And now with the internet and the proper training and learning how to research properties online, you can be in this business of buying any way you want, anytime you want. Now, most real estate ideas that are out there are all based on retail investments. So let's think about those strategies and let's compare them with the tested wholesale investment strategies that professionals like myself use. You need to learn these wholesale strategies so that you can make money. We're not gonna make it quickly, but we're gonna make it steadily and we're gonna do it the easy way. So real estate is usually a slow way to make money. It's a steady marketplace, but you just have to think about how much money you have to invest. Large money for good capital investments, it's gonna be a lot easier. If you have to start with smaller money, you're gonna to have to be a little faster on your feet. If you're enjoying this video and want to join our journey to financial freedom, don't forget to like, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and subscribe to stay updated on all things wealth building. Now back to our video. Normally, the market doesn't change quickly. This requires a lot of patience and a long-term commitment. The computer, the internet changed the whole world and made it 100% easier. The United States across the nation is open to the world. Anybody can invest in real estate. I have clients in Bangkok, I have Australia, United Kingdom, all the provinces of Canada. You can do this business from any state that you want to do it. So people living overseas, they can do the same thing. Why? Because you can do all of this online. So I'll give you an idea that comes from one of my students in Canada. He started out small. Now, he was taught by all the gurus to buy and rent, buy and rent that the market was always going to go up whatever number it was, 5%, 7%, whatever. Well, that's not always the case. You know, real estate doesn't always go up, and real estate isn't always in a smooth market. He had quite a time for himself. Now, he started buying properties and renting. That meant he got a lot of weekend work. Now, this is a guy that had a full-time job, so he worked in his full-time job. Now he had to be a full-time handyman on weekends, not only taking care of leaky faucets, fixing toilets, being a handyman, fixing things who were broken. It was constant. The challenge for him was that the real estate wasn't moving up like he thought it was gonna move up. Now, when it doesn't move up, it could be caused by a recession, could be caused by too much building, could be caused by the financing market is tough. My point is, you're affected by a lot of markets and your real estate might not move. So let's learn strategy where you can build value. Now. Home builders build value. You see the houses going up, that's building value. Developers build value. You see high rise office buildings going up downtown. They're building value. Now we're gonna teach you to build value and now you become insider. That's what you wanna do. So you don't wanna be listening to dozens of complaints every Monday morning about your rental properties because their complaints will come in. Those people know you own it. They're calling you on the phone. Even if you have a manager, they'll figure it out. Suddenly, what comes along? A real estate recession. Now, what are you going to do? Those people are going to double up. You're going to have people going out and you're going to get hurt. When I say going out, they're not going to be making payments. You're going to double up for the neighbor next door. Point is, the real estate business is not easy. I didn't say it was bad. I just said it's not easy. So what happened to me? Well, I discovered tax liens and deeds. Well, if you can buy at a tax deed sale, that means you're going to get real estate for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar with no mortgage. So now I'm buying wholesale, wholesale, direct from the government, direct from the county. And there's 5,000 counties in the United States, 5,000. means there'll be a minimum of 5,000 tax defaulted auctions. Think about that. Every one of those is an opportunity. So what did Kelly do? Came to my class, he learned. See, 
He looked at his other strategy, which was buy, rent, and hold. They left out a word. It's buy, fix up, rent, fix up, hold, fix up. He didn't want to do that. He was tired of that. He didn't want to work every single weekend and hope that he was going to get rich. He wanted a different strategy. So I taught him a strategy of simply buying the tax defaulted auctions. He had a coach that helped him along. Number one, he's going to do it all online. Now, this is a busy guy. He's running his real estate business. He's working full time, doesn't have a lot of time to travel, wants to do the whole thing online. Number two, he's not going to have to travel. He's just going to sit right where he is. So his first deal, he bought his first property. He quickly sold it, sold it in 60 days. Didn't take him long to sell it because he bought it low and he sold it low and he made $20,000. Now you're looking at this video and saying, $20,000, Ted. Here on YouTube, we see people make millions of dollars. Yeah, well, I'm gonna show you how to make $20,000 sitting where you're looking at me right now. See if any of those guys could do that. I'm talking about making money, sitting in your rusty dusty. He made $20,000, but now he knows how to do it. So he's got a secret weapon. He can sit in his basement, no travel, and he's gonna start making money. How well are you doing? So the second property, he finds a second one to do, and he does not leave town. He buys that product. Remember this 5,000 tax to ball the lunch? He's buying it 10 to 20 cents on the dollar. Who's he gonna sell it to? Well, it's easy if you don't need to get top dollar. So he buys it low and he sells it low. Except this time, he made $100,000. I don't know if you're gonna make $100,000 every time, but what if you can make 20,000 every time and you can sit on your rusty dusty right where you are now? Now, recently, I was giving a class, and then part of the research of the class, I, I looked at San Diego. I could do all that sitting at my desk. And I look and have 600 properties in San Diego County, probably the most premium real estate in the United States. Okay, get your bidding hands ready. It's last call to register if you want to take part and bid on one of these properties. Nearly 400 properties hitting the auction block, all of them in default on taxes owed for five or more years. Dan, the tax man McAllister, is the treasurer tax collector for San Diego County. He says homeowners have until March 21st to pay those back taxes and keep their homes off the auction list. We're not sure down to the last wire sometimes what's still available and what's not. Now, once the bidding starts, the prices will obviously go higher. You may find a deal, but it's buyer beware. You absolutely do need to do research on every piece of property that you want to bid on because sales are final and uh, all final, and we can't go back and reverse that. 600 tax defaulted property. Never seen that in 30 years. 600 property. You suppose you can get one? Just try to get one of those properties in San Diego, California. I'm gonna tell you right now, it'll probably take you four hours to sell it. Let me give you another example. George, he uses his Roth IRA. Doesn't have a lot of money. He's got a regular job, but he's got an IRA that's building up. It's a Roth IRA. So with his Roth IRA, he purchased a property. Now, he bought it at the tax auction. Now, it wasn't a glamorous country club property. It's kind of a C or a D, but it was okay. It's a nice livable house, and he got it for $3,000. It was probably worth 40 or 45, but he got it for three. So he just left it in his IRA. He did a little bit of tidying up and cleaning up, maybe three or $4,000, and he started renting it. All that rent money went into his IRA tax-free. Finally, someone said, I want to buy it. He said, okay, and the person wanted was going to go to the bank. Well, the bank won't finance it, that kind of property. Why won't the bank finance it? Because it's under 100000 They don't want to do that. They don't want to finance. So he said, well, my IRA will finance. So his IRA financed it for $1,000 a month for 60 months. The math is easy. 1000 times 60, $60,000. He had less than 10 in the deal. My point is, you've got to use these wholesale strategies. Stop thinking retail. Let's buy it DAX auctions. And I'm going to show you that there's a lot of properties at these auctions, okay? People don't believe this. So a few minutes ago, I mentioned San Diego. Well, I don't have a book from San Diego, but I've got one from Los Angeles. Watch this. I'm just taking these up my desk back there, okay? All right. So there it is. It says, here, read it. It says, tax defaulted property auction. All right, now it's, it's 2019. We use it as a prop. County of Los Angeles tax collector. All right, now let me do this with it. Okay, there's about four to six properties on every page. That's just one list from Los Angeles. Let me show you some other lists. Okay, this is um, this is one of 
68 different lists from the state of New York. And this, this one is tax auction, uh, June, Sullivan County. And it looks to me like there's uh, about 250 properties at this one. They, they not only tell me about the auction, but all those little black things you see going down the page, those are pictures of the property. Those are pictures of them. And they describe the property. And you can buy any one of those properties, starting bid, the back taxes. I've been in this business a long time. I'd show you how to how to bring up what's called a, a GIS computer system. And it's nothing more than the geographical information system. It's a government satellite. It's way up there. But you can bring it way down here. You can bring it down to 1,000 feet. You can sit there at your computer and look at every property in the United States. Every property in the United States. And we could do that from the databases we have right here. We actually give you those databases when you're a student. Unlock your exclusive free gift now by clicking the link below. Instant access awaits.